going on dates, you will tend as a woman to earn his love the way a man can earn your love. And that would be by being attentive and interested and doing things for him. Because if he did those things for you, you would bond with him. But when you do those things for him, he doesn't bond with you. He actually detaches from you more. It doesn't bring him a connection with you. Is you don't want to do things for him, but you want to create opportunities for him to be successful in doing things for you. That's your role, which is to create a space where he can feel successful in meeting your needs. So what are your needs? Big need for a woman to increase her estrogen is to be a herd. So don't ask him a lot of questions. Let him ask you questions. And if he doesn't ask you questions and he starts talking about himself because you're asking him lots of questions, you know you do it. And <laughs> And what you do at that moment, when you're asking him questions about stuff, basically, whatever he says, let it be a short answer. When he takes a breath, go, that makes sense. Or that's a good idea. Or, I know just what you mean. You're right. And then launch into your perspective and talk at least five times more than him. Always talk way more than the guy. Because then he's forced to listen to you. Then he's forced to get to know you. And for some for some men, as they get to know you, their sexual desire will disappear because they're hitting reality. They're going, oh, I'm not attracted to her, who she is. Those are the wrong guys. He's never going to be attracted to who you are. You've got to be yourself. And the right guy is going to go, wow, you know, I'm still turned on to her, even though I disagree with her. <laughs> it's, it's like, or if he agrees with you, it doesn't matter. But there's a place where you want to find a guy who has the desire for you but you don't, he doesn't know if it's for you because he's just physically attracted. He, you have to show more of your inner world and then he has to see, am I still attracted to that? And then his desire will help him to get to that place unless you short circuit his desire by immediately satisfying his physical need instead of moving into talking more and sharing more and letting him do things for you. Then he gets to bond with you on an emotional level, a mental level. And if he still wants you, now you have the potential of a long lasting relationship. If he doesn't want you, what you have to get, women, is next. He's not the guy you wanted. He's not the guy you wanted. And you have to gracefully be able to let go of guys without taking it personally to find the right guy. You got to go next. He wasn't the right guy. And that's why you don't want to be looking for the perfect guy because you're going to go through several in some cases. But your goal is to make it a positive dating experience. And you gather these positive experiences and then your mind clearly gets what it is I need, what I'm ready for, what I deserve, and it comes to you. That's the whole key. It's like I'm helping one of my daughters find a new house. It's going and seeing lots of houses, what's wrong with them, what's good with them, what's wrong with them. We have fun doing it. And the mind sets up exactly what you want, and then you can pull it in.